This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is something that's really important to myself and Mrs. Lockpicking Lawyer. In fact, it's something she's been playing with since her teens, and she let me first use it on our third date. So, I'm sure you've all gotten a good look and can clearly see that it is my wife's beaver. Now, I showed you her beaver a few years ago in video number 862, but I wanted to feature it again because as I read through the comments, I realized that many of you just don't appreciate how versatile a beaver can be. For instance, when they get their hands on a beaver, I know a lot of guys who just load it up as fast as they can and call it a day, but that is a big mistake. First, before you put anything in the beaver, you have to make sure all the appropriate parts are properly lubricated, otherwise you're probably going to do some damage. Then you need to give careful consideration to what you're going to put in the beaver. It is pretty common to see guys put balls like this inside the beaver. And while like most guys, I do have a nice sack of balls, that's getting to be pretty cliche. A less common and probably healthier option is to put your nuts in a beaver. But again, it's not something that really appeals to me. Now, if you're just looking to have fun, probably the best option is to put toys into a beaver. But a word of caution here. If you try to stick toys in a beaver and those toys are too big, it is possible, if not likely, that you're going to do damage. And just as bad, the toy can get stuck. So, before trying to stick toys in a beaver, always ask the owner for both permission and instructions. Fortunately, by our fourth or fifth date, my wife figured out that I knew my way around her beaver pretty well, so she gives me a lot of leeway here and actually encourages me to be creative. So, while I do have a lot of options, my absolute favorite thing to put in my wife's beaver are banana-shaped treats. Now, obviously this small package isn't going to fill up my wife's beaver, and it can be pretty awkward if you don't fill the entire beaver. In fact, it's usually better to have a little left over. So, today I am going to stuff my entire 15 pound banana treat package into my wife's beaver. Now, the first thing I need to do is take out my tool and insert it into this slit-shaped opening right on the top. Then I need to jiggle it around for a while. This part can be boring, just jiggle while giving it a twist. You might not think that can do much, but if you do it enough, it'll turn this little slit-shaped opening into a large gaping one. And I think you can see just how wide I opened up my wife's beaver, and it is clearly going to be a lot easier to jam in this huge package. However, at my wife's request, I'm not going to show that part on camera, so that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe and have a great April 1st.